Hey you guys, now first of all, I just want to let you guys know that this is a different type of video. You know, you're used to seeing us do pranks, um, challenges, you know, all of these different types of things. But today, I know that there's all different types of people that follow us. And a lot of people always ask about how we are able to run our business and most importantly, how to save money. So in this video, I recorded you know exactly how to save money now, it don't matter what age you are my kids have mastered having their own money and saving it and they know what to do with it to make more money and they know what to do with it when it comes to you know buying whatever they want to buy so hopefully you enjoy this video now we you know got a whole bunch of different type of content that we're going to be creating but this is just something that you know i've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of dms about it so I'm giving you guys what you guys are asking for. So here we go. What's up, what's up? Welcome to the Barnes family. This is your boy, KDB. And as you can see, nobody else is in the car with me. It's just me today. And today it ain't no prank. You know, it ain't no reaction. It ain't none of that type of stuff going down. It's actually something that I got some DMs and some emails about. Well, first of all, if this is your first time watching our videos, make sure you like, share, subscribe. We also give you a shout out at the end of every single video. So if you want a shout out, turn on your post notifications and comment down below. Now, basically in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to save money. Now, a lot of people around the world right now, I mean, that, you know, now this is whether you're a kid, this is whether you're a teen, this is whether you're, you know, millennial or old or whatever you call yourself. How to say like understand this that a lot of people can't make more money because they don't have money uh, here these people driving like some dang fools okay you made it right there like you made it right there it always trip me out when people drive crazy like you made it literally if we go into the same place you're gonna get there probably five seconds earlier than, than me stupid right but whatever so how to save money a lot of people want to get to another level of finance and you know now by all means you know I, I do want to share with you that you know I am NOT rich yet I am in my mind but in my bank account I am NOT rich but we are definitely on our way there you know me and my wife have not worked a job for longer than 10 years and we've been able to continue to pay our bills and do other things outside of just paying our bills with our businesses so we know something so that's a disclaimer why should you listen to anything we talking about because we literally haven't worked for nobody in over 10 years now if you work in a job or planning to make some money working a job we can show you how not to do that but before we even go there let's talk about how to save money now look no matter how much money you make there should be a portion of that money going to the side so you can invest it. Now see, a lot of people don't understand that term. A lot of people think that they make money to spend money, you know? A lot of it is also how you think and what you say to yourself. But a lot of people think that you get money, you spend money. You get money, you spend money. And when you see an opportunity to invest to make more money, you don't have no money. Because you took all the money that you had and spent it on this pair of shoes or some alcohol or, or or whatever else. And I'm not saying that, you know, buying shoes and alcohol and whatever else that you do is bad, you know, well, depending on what you do. But I'm not saying that. My overall point is, one, you gotta know how to save money. Two, you have to know what to do with money that you save. And see, here, here's another thing. See, a lot of people grow up and they think like their parents, right? You know? Parents grew up, our parents, my parents grew up a way that, you know, they, they save money to be able to get to a rainy day. And that's perfect. That's fine. That's what they were taught. But I'm raised and being brought into a generation where saving money for a rainy day only brings a damn rainy day. That's all it does. Oh my God. That would happen right now. Hold on. Saving for a rainy day is only going to bring you. Rainy. Man, I apologize for this. It's 
only gonna bring you a rainy day. Think about it. While you're saving money to, you know, waiting for a rainy day, don't it always seem like something happened with your car? Or if you're young, you know, you're saving money, don't it always seem like you gotta buy something or you gotta do something, right? Always, right? Mysteriously, right? Why? Because you're programming your mind to save money for a day that you're gonna need it to take care of something that you don't want to happen. That that's a program. And see, and all we we were programmed by you know the people we hang around, the people we grew up around, you know, and it's up to us to change that programming. So I'm not just here to just fill this channel full of pranks and you know, I want to do something nobody else is talking about. Showing our people how to save money. So I got a simple technique. Simple. How to save money. Take 10%, 10 to 20% of every dollar that you make and put it in another account. Totally different account. Maybe an account that, you know, like if you live in a certain city, put it in an, in an account or in a bank that, you know, may take like take you like three hours to go and get it. And then don't have a debit card. That's another thing. Don't have a debit card because as long as you see something you want and you know you got money, you're gonna spend that money. But you're not saving the money for a rainy day. You're not saving the money to spend the money. You're saving the money to invest the money. That's very, 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 very important. A lot of people don't understand, like, like think about it. Like right now, as I'm talking to you right now, I am creating income. I'm on my way to Costco right now, but I'm creating income. I don't have to work to make my money. Well, I mean, I have to work, but I set up everything in a systematic way, which means once I set up my system, my money is set up to keep coming back to me whether I work or not. Now that's another video. I'll talk about that on another video, but let's go back to it. So if you make a thousand dollars a week at your job, there's no reason why you should not be saving $100 a week and putting it aside. At the end of the month, you have $400 that you can put towards something that's gonna bring you more income. See, we were not taught these things. A lot of people don't know and don't understand that you can create and control your own financial freedom if you just know what to do. A lot of us don't know what to do. So we just do what we see everybody doing, or we do what we saw our parents doing, or, or we do what our friends are doing. And man, I mean, you know, in every case, that's not the answer. Because anybody that you follow or that you do exactly what they do, you're gonna get the same result that they get. So now that you know that, think about everybody that you copy or everybody that you're doing things that's exactly like. Are you prepared in your mind to get the same exact results that they're getting? Or do you want better? Do you want more? So again, let's go over what we talked about. You don't wanna save money for a rainy day. Get that out of your brain. Get that out of your brain. Cause I'm telling you, as long as you save money for a rainy day, it's always gonna rain. Always, it's, all, it's gonna rain all the time because that's how you're programming your mind. That's how you're setting your mind up. Now, see, this is stuff that I wish, I wish I knew when I was a teenager. Because if I did, oh my God, I'll be filthy rich right now. I happen to learn these things later on in life. Now, if you are 18, 19, 20 years old, pay attention to what I'm saying, man. Don't take all your money and go buy video games. Video games don't bring you no money back unless you got a YouTube channel where you, you know, I'm sweating because I got the camera on. I don't want the AC. And this damn Costco truck is just sitting here. Like, what are we doing? Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I know they looking at me like, what are you doing, fool? I can't sit here for this truck, man. It's too hot. Too hot, bro. And this fool sitting up here waiting, causing all this traffic. God, people irritate me, bro. People irritate me. I shouldn't let them, but they irritate me, man. People just don't use their damn brain at all. But, 
So once you do that, then you start to save your money, man. Save your money to invest. Save your money to make you more money. Now there's a lot more to it, but if you get that one thing down, simply just take your money and save it to invest it. Save 10% of, of your money to invest it. Just do that. Don't even do nothing else. In a month, in a year, you'll be so better well off and you'll be able to have money to invest to be able to bring you more money. I'm telling you, this is what I teach my kids. My kids don't never come to me and ask me for no money. Never. Because they know how to manage money, they know how to save money, and they know how to create their own money. My wife, don't never ask me for no money. Thank God, oh my God, thank you God. I still, you know, take care of her, but she don't never ask me for money. She knows how to get her own money, save her own money, and she knows what to do with it. So trust me, you don't gotta believe that I know what I'm talking about because I ain't got no Bentleys and all that type of stuff, material stuff that people need to see to validate and say that this is a person that's successful. But I'm telling you, man, you got to learn and know what to do with your money because the faster you figure that out, the faster you can get to where I believe all of us in life really want to be, right? All of us want to be well off, man. All of us want to, you know, be able to do what it is that we want. Nobody really wants to work a job. Who wants to go to work every day? I ain't never heard nobody say, oh, I can't wait to get to work today unless it's some mess or something going on. So I hope I didn't bore you in this video. I did not mean to talk long about this. This is something that, you know, we got DM'd and people are asking, like, how are you and your wife able to, um, you know, do what you're doing full time and able to sustain and able to do what you're doing? This is one of the ways we know what to do with our money. So let me get in this Costco. It's hot as hell in this car. I'll do the post notification in a minute. Peace. Post notification shout out goes to family rated. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate you liking, Sarah, sharing, subscribing. Look, if you want to shout out, turn on your post notifications. Comment down below. We out.